Hi, it's Corrine for Cut at Home, and I'd like to share with you two cards that I made today. One of them, this one here, I have a start to finish for, and this one was a very simple card, so I'll just um, walk you through what I did. On this one, this is a 9 by 3 and 7 eighths inch card, and it will fit in a business size envelope if it's not two dimensional. Here is a business size envelope. And I know it might be a little hard to see, but it fits perfectly in here. Now this I will be putting in a box um, of a gift, so I didn't have to worry about dimension, and that's usually what I tend to do. I do, like I said, have a full start to finish on this. If you're interested, then stay tuned. I'll put that here at the end of the video. But let me just share with you real quickly what I did. I used some white cardstock. I cut it to nine by seven and three fourths, and I scored it in half at three and seven eighths. And I'll go through all that in the start to finish as well. And on the back of the white cardstock, I used some of this Tim Holtz tissue wrap. And this is the first time that I've played with this. I absolutely love this. It comes in a roll, just like aluminum foil, and it also has a blade on it. So it cuts it off perfectly for you. And there is a ton of this. It's 15 feet and it's 12 inches. So you can use this for any type of mixed media projects. You can use it for scrapbook pages. You can actually wrap gifts with it if you wanted to. There's tons you can do with it. So I used it on the back of my card because I wanted a neutral type paper in the back. And I just used some multi-matte media to adhere it down. And this large die here, I love this die. This is a Kaiser Craft die, and it's street light. I'll put the product codes in the description box to all of these. If you've not used Kaiser Craft dies, what I like about them is they all come with a magnet piece in the middle, and it holds your die to it, and it will not fall off. It holds it um, very securely. So I used some gray paper for this, and then I ended up adding some white to just give it a little bit of a shadow. I made these flowers, these are handmade flowers, using the Ariana Blooms by Heartfelt Creations. And you've probably seen me use these a lot. I love making flowers with these. You can make their flowers look so different depending on how you um, form them. So these are the flowers here, which I do show you in the start to finish. They also come with stamens in them. I chose not to use the stamens. I added my own stamens in these bottom two. I added a few Wild Orchid Craft tulips and cherry blossoms. And then this deer dye, which you've probably seen me use. I love it. It's the floral deer. I added some silver embossing to it, along with this Jingle Bells. This is Jingle Bells, and it's a Diversions die. I'm not sure if, if Cut It Home still has this in, but if not, they have identical ones with different sayings in them. So this was fun to use. And on the inside, I used the word Wonderland. This is a Tim Holtz holiday script die. I don't have the packaging for it, but it comes with 17 different scripts. This is a beautiful die to use. So that's pretty much it on this card. There will be the start to finish on this one. This one I did off camera. It's a very simple card. It's four and three quarters inch square. I used a piece of yellow scrap paper at four and a half inches. And then this here is an embossed piece of cardstock. And these are absolutely beautiful that Cut It ha Home has. These are Sizzix by Brenda Walton. And here are the two embossing folders you get with them. They're absolutely stunning. Here's this one and this one. And up close, this is what they look like. There's the one, and here is the other one. Let me turn it this way. So these are just beautiful. That's what I used in the background here, along with my mannequin die by Kaiser Craft. And again, I used a handmade flower using the Ariana Blooms and a few of the cherry blossoms. So I 
hope you enjoy both of these and stay tuned for the start to finish. Check out Cut It Home's blog. There will be all the product codes for everything I've used, plus there's lots of inspiration. Thanks so much for watching. Here is the Ariana Blooms from Heartfelt Creations. And these make gorgeous flowers. They come with three different size stamens in them. And today I'm not using the stamens, I'm just cutting out the flowers. And usually when I cut these out, I cut out several at a time. I think I cut out six different sets. And I love using white paper. I I'm using white cardstock, it's smooth white cardstock. And I just love using, uh, making white flowers. And of course you can do any colors that you want. That's um, the great thing about these dies. So now I'm wrapping each petal around a paintbrush. You can use a pencil or anything that you have to wrap it around. It just gives it a little bit dimension to it. And when I get to the smaller flowers, I will of course use a smaller paintbrush. It's just a little bit easier to wrap around. And I'm doing this to all the different size flowers. And then I am going to use my stylus. And if you do a circular motion right in the middle of that, using a foam pad underneath, it breaks up the fibers and gives it more dimension to your flower. And now I'm just hot gluing them together, offsetting the petals. And in this flower, I added four layers of the large flower, which I will actually not be using on today's project, but I like having flowers ready. And I just wanted to kind of show you how I put them together. Now here's the medium sized flower. And I'm gluing two petals together for these, again, using hot glue. And then there's two of the smaller flower. They're not the smallest that come in there, but they're um, the third size down. I'm adding two of those into the center of those medium flowers. And off camera, I will do the same to the small flowers. Now I'm using my Big Bite to add a hole in the center of the two medium flowers. And I will be adding some stamens to them. Now these I got from Michael's, I believe. called floral sprays. I'm taking four of them, folding them in half, and then add, um, adding them into the hole that I placed in there and placing another tiny flower on the back with some hot glue to hold them in place. And as you can see, that is just a gorgeous center. Now I'm making my card, which is nine by seven and three fourths, and I am scoring it at set, th excuse me, three and seven eighths, which is the center of that, making this a long card, which will fit in a business sized envelope. Unless you make it very dimensional, like I'm going to be doing, then you'll need to hand deliver it or place it in a box when you send it. But here I'm just showing you it's a perfect fit for a business size envelope. Here is the Tim Holtz tissue tape, and this is so much fun to work with. It comes in a roll, just like aluminum foil, and as you can see there, it has a blade, so it easily cuts off, and I'm using this as a background on my card. Now, I'm placing a, a scrap piece of paper in the middle of the card just to stop it from accidentally gluing it down. And now I'm placing the tissue paper down, crinkling it a little as I go. I don't want it to be perfect straight on the card. I want to give it a little bit to mention to it. And so I'm adding a layer of the multimedia on top of it, which will then seal it down. And again, I'm using my paintbrush to kind of crinkle it as I go. I want it to not lay completely flat. I do take my heat gun to it and it does warp it a little. Therefore, I end up cutting out that top piece of paper and just glue it gluing it down to another card that I cut out, which I'll show you here in just a moment. So here's where I decided it was a little too warped for, the, for what I wanted. So I'm just cutting that out and I'm actually cutting it down a little. So when I place it on top of my card, it will give it a small little white border. 
I could have done this from the beginning, but I didn't know that it would warp that much. So I added tape to the complete back and that way it's gonna hold it down nicely for me. Now here is the decorative die and this is absolutely gorgeous. This is from Kaiser Craft, it's street light. This is a beautiful die and if you've not seen Kaiser Craft dies, they come with a large magnetic sheet in the back which will hold your die in place. And as you can see here, it will not fall off, which I love that about their dies. So they're very easy to store that way. I am going to cut this out and I'm using a dark gray paper, which in the end you'll see that I added white on top of it, still using the gray paper just as a shadow though. But you won't see that until the end because I changed my mind at the very end. So now I'm just popping this out of the die. It's super simple to pop out. It has release holes in the back that you can um, use a poker tool to and it will help release it. And I cut out two of them off camera and glued them and now you're seeing me add an, this to the other one just to give it more stability. I wanted it to be a little bit thicker and a little bit more stable on the card. Here is um, some dies also from Cut at Home. The first one is the Floral Deer, and I'll have all the product codes in the description box below. You've seen me use this quite a few times this season. I love this deer. And also the Jingle Bells. That's a Diversions die, which if Cut at Home doesn't have that exact one, they have a lot similar to that that have different sayings. I'm adding some silver embossing powder. I added some Versamark sticky ink to them first and now I will heat set them with my heat tool. That's a non-stick craft mat behind it. It's also heat resistant, so that's why I'm using that underneath so it does not warp my mat. Now I'm just kind of placing around the flowers trying to decide what I want to use. And I'm, I love using some white on white but I like adding a little touch of color to them. So I'm pulling out some tulips from Wild Orchid Crafts to decide if I wanna add a little bit of pink to the card as well. Here's my Wink of Stella pen and I'm adding some glitter to this street lamp, which in the end you still see a little of it because I don't completely cover up the street lamp with the white, as I told you before, I leave a little shadow of it. So now I'm just adhering that down with some Scotch Quick Dry. I love these tall cards and if you keep them, I tend to go off my card a little bit, which when I'm giving it either on a gift or in a box, I will purposely usually do that. But if I know that I'm sending it in the mail, it only takes one stamp if you don't have it very dimensional like I do. So now I'm adding that Diversions die, again with some Scotch Quick Dry. I place a piece of paper over so if any glue comes out, it'll stick to the paper, not my hands. And now I'm adding some Cherry Blossoms, again from Wild Orchid Crafts, just trying to add in a little bit of color to my card. I was going for a more tone on tone look, and that's why in the end I covered up most of that gray paper because I it was a little too dark for what I was originally trying to do here. So these are some leaves that I cut from my Silhouette Cameo. I just had them in my stash. I cut out a bunch at, at one time so I can keep always have them in my stash to, to reach for and use on projects. And now I'm adding a small cluster to the top of the card as well just to add a little bit more of that pale pink color in at the top. adding some flat back pearls to the center of those flowers that I had made from the Ariana Blooms. Here's a little bit closer look. I love that tissue paper in the back. There's so many things that you can do with that tissue paper. I used the Tim Holtz Holiday Script die and cut out the word Wonderland and added that same silver embossing and I'm adding that to the inside of the card. I love that, that die that he has come out with. There's 17 script words in them. 
here's the white that I cut out. Like I said, I wanted to tone it down just a little. So I will just add that around my flowers and that's all there was to it. If you have any questions, please leave me a comment and check out Cut It Home's blog. Like I've mentioned, I will have all the product codes in the description box and on their blog. There's also lots of inspiration on the blog. I hope you've enjoyed and I really appreciate you stopping by. Thanks for watching.